No sign of them. No. Man, he should be back by now. Sure, they haven't run into any trouble. We're going after him. Steve! Steve, help us! Steve! It's Valerie.
That rock. What about that hum you mentioned, Val? I don't hear it. It's gone. That means there's no danger. Let's make sure. His knife. Barry. Barry. I was right where that knife was. He's got to be around here. Who could have taken him away? There it is. I saw it. That's it. That's what we heard. That sounds like some kind of an electrical force field. Find him? No. I'm going to find him. Oh, I've got, oh, I've got to. Look, haven't you had enough? Now stay put. I think he's right. We should look for the boy. Nobody moves out of here till day. Yeah, but I. Nobody! Get your hopes up, please. Why not? We passed through some sort of space warp or force field to get to where the giants live. Maybe we just passed through another to get out. 
You mean we're actually back on Earth? I doubt it, but it could be, though. Just think. It could be. A valise. It's back on a ship. I've got to get it. No, you don't. <laughs> Unless you want another jolt from that force field. There's a million dollars in that valise. Fiendish irony. I'm back home without my money. It is Earth. We're back on Earth. And stay back a few minutes. Make sure we're not surprised from behind. <laughs> Look, Midbury, biggest little town in the state. That's not all. Look at this. What did I tell you? We're back on Earth. Yeah, it's about as American as pizza pie. It is a little old-fashioned. I don't care how old-fashioned it is. It looks great to me. Let's not jump to any conclusions. I don't know where we are yet. Earth! We're back on Earth! Back on Earth! Somebody, anybody, anybody! Wait a minute. We're back! Come on! Anybody! It's too quiet. There's a doctor's office. Maybe he knows something. The girls better stay here. Wait for Dan. All right. Anybody home? Be nice to see the inside of a house again. Doctor Webster. be a main street in this town. Let's find it. We're back! Please let us in! Isn't anyone home? Anybody, someone, please, please open up! Let me use your phone! It's an emergency! Please! your main street. Empty. I've seen some dead towns in my time, but this is ridiculous. It's a town, and a town means people. Our size people. <laughs> and I'm going to find them. Fitz, you, will you? Anybody? You know, I think Fitz, you's right. Everything I've seen so far says we're back home. Except there are no people. Maybe this is our answer. That could be it. It's Sunday. It's Sunday and everyone's at church. Altar, pulpit, but still no people. Even God would be lonely in a place like this. The place is not deserted. Look at him travel. That horn. He's probably on his way to a wedding. Let's flag <laughs> him down. Hold it! Do you know, I'm not 
sure I saw a driver in that truck. There had to be a driver. He really likes to ride the horn. One thing for sure, trucks still move by themselves. There's someone around here. Well, whoever it is could have Barry. Barry's dead. He's dead. Valerie, we don't know that. He was in the same explosion that killed the giant tramp. You saw him? Yeah, but I didn't see Barry. Valerie. There still is a chance that Barry's alive. Right. And we're gonna keep on looking until we know for sure. I think we better split up. We can cover more ground. Sir, I'm summoning help. Please try to lie still. Help anyone? Help, help anyone. Ambulance, help. Ambulance, anybody? Help. A man has moved it. Help, help. <laughs> oh, thank heavens. Giants, uh, 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 giants. Operator, help. Giants. There's even a wounded little boy in the town saloon. Oh, but dear, aren't they all perfect? But where did they come from? Oh, they, they came from Earth, dear. I don't know how they came, but I'm glad they're here. Oh, isn't it all just wonderful? Can I have this one to keep for my own? Oh, no, my dear. I'm going to need him. You're going to be the driver for my little truck. No, please. I can't drive. I don't know how. <laughs> don't worry about that. I'll teach you. I have plenty of time. Please put me down. I'm squeamish about heights. Oh, uh, put him down, granddaughter. Uh, we mustn't upset our little people. Uh, so put him down. But... Oh, no, don't worry. With the force field around the town, uh, there's nothing to worry about. So put him down. Uh, 
That's it. Now then, you're free to go, my little man. Uh, free to go. Uh, but when I need you, I'll find you. Don't worry. Uh, uh, oh, dear. Turn off the force field for me, will you? Thank you, dear. Thank you. You're a sweet child. someplace and play like a good girl. you get it? In the dress shop. Where else? Actually, it's uh, terribly on chic, but it was the only shop in town. Any more in there? As a matter of fact, this was the only one. Also, as a matter of fact, it uh, <laughs> doesn't exactly seem to be new. What are you driving at, Steve? Only this. We have stores without merchandise. And hydrants without water. Or a town without people. Any sign of the lad? No, nor fits you either. Ah! It's Betty! <laughs> It's just a mannequin. Believe me. Take a look. <laughs> no! <Ugh. laughs> uh, uh, oh, I feel like a fool. It has fooled, too. At least you're the right size. <laughs> giants! 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 This is all a trick. This is not a real town. Yeah, we all found that out. But it all looks so real. What happened to you? The giants caught me. An old man and a little girl. They have Barry. Where? Let's get him and get out. Let's get out. The whole town is surrounded by the force field. Fits you. Fits you. Did you actually see Barry? No. The old man said he put him in a saloon somewhere. That's down the block. Come on. Come on. Here it is. Barry! Barry! Turn it off. Barry! Barry! Chipper, where's Barry? Here he is. We found him. He's alive. Thank heavens. He's still unconscious. Here's some water. That force field must have hit him pretty hard. He'll be all right, lad. Could we be carrying him back to the spaceship? We better not try to move him yet. Besides, how do we get back to that force field? Maybe we don't have to go through it. Maybe we can go under it. Tunnel. But that could take us days. I better get started. Well, what about tools? It's uh, hardware stored up. Hello there, little people. They're the ones. The ones I saw. Oh, 
Oh, don't be afraid of me. I, I won't hurt you. My name is Ackman. What's yours? Steve. How do you do, Mr. Steve? You must have many questions you'd like to ask me about this place. Uh, please ask them. Did you build all of this? Oh, yes, indeed. Years ago, an airship came through our dimension lock into our world. And all the little people, all the little people on the, on the ship were killed. But among the wreckage, I found pictures and, and books. And I built all of this from that. It's what you might call a hobby. And then, then I, I took the roof off this building and put the little boy in. Do you like it? It's fantastic. It's a work of art. This is my sweet little granddaughter. She, she shares my hobby with love and affection. Hello, you little things. It's nice to have you with us. What are you planning to do with us? Oh, I'm going to make you all very happy. And, and don't worry about the roof. If it rains, I'll, I'll replace it. We don't care about the roof. We just want to get out of here. Oh, oh, you mustn't try to leave. There's a force field around the town to keep out small animals. If you try to pass through it, it'll kill you. Oh, it's wonderful to hear your voices. It's the most exciting experience of my life. But I have work to do. So uh, I'll come back and talk to you later. Come along, my dear. I'd like to stay a moment longer, Grandfather. And enjoy looking at these lovely little people. Oh, of course, my darling. Of course. Poor little people. It's a pity you're going to have such short lives. <laughs> Two or three hours of, of digging, and we should be able to make our escape. What are you doing here? I'm tired of playing nursemaid to two frightened women and a child. How's the tunnel coming? Well, why don't you see for yourself and take this with you? The force field isn't operating. Wait for me. It's off, all right. We should be able to get through it now. You're right. I'll go get the others. Wait, wait.
Put you. Put you. Don't you ever listen. I'm all right. Let's finish the tunnel. Nothing. Dan. Better go take a look. Chipper. Chipper. Quiet, boy. There's somebody in there.
Company coming. The blue truck. I hope there's enough. Oh, you, you are clever to have discovered the source of the little car's power. As soon as I have collected its imperfection, you may drive around in it. Ackman. You've been very kind to us. And we don't wish to seem ungrateful. But we'd like to leave this place. When are you going to let us out of here? Oh, you, you mustn't speak of, of leaving. I have many plans for you. But... Later this afternoon, I'm going away to pick up some supplies. And when I return, I'm going to build some wonderful furniture for my little people. Look, we don't care about beautiful furniture. We want to know when we're leaving this place. Oh, but you must eat first. And then, and then we'll talk some more. Ow! Mm. I don't think that nice old jive would want to hurt his prized specimens. the force field when the giants turn it off to pass through. How long does that take? Exactly two seconds. Oh. I'm glad to see that y'all waited for me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Enjoy. Try some. Well, I see grandfather's taking good care of you. Please, don't let me frighten you. Actually, you have me to thank for your food. I suggested it to Grandfather. Thank you. 
You're welcome. Well, I'm sorry. chance against that little hellion. Who says we have it? <coughs> Come with me. Where are you going? To send out a call for allies. The man must be out of his mind. <laughs> what allies do we have in this place? control, will you, dear? Oh, oh, thank you. Uh, come along, my dear. That's enough. Come on. If that doesn't bring him nothing, who you were trying to bring? Mr. Steen, did you ring the church bell? Yes, I did. Why did you ring the church bell? Because we are in mortal danger, that's why. Oh, nonsense, you're perfectly safe. I wouldn't have you hurt for anything. The little person is trying to upset you, Grandfather. Uh, two minutes ago, I was nearly burned alive. Look at this match. Where did it come from? Your granddaughter. First she poured gasoline all over the street, then she lit these matches and threw them at us. And we could have all been burned to death. He's lying. So is she. Ask any of us what happened. Ask yourself. Where would we have gotten those giant matches? 
Well? I didn't mean any harm, Grandfather. You didn't mean any harm. I've spent most of my life building my town, and a fire could destroy it like that. Now I order you, never, never, never come near my town again with a match or a flame. I'm sorry, Mr. Steve. I promise you no harm will come to you in the future. But, but I'm losing precious time. I, I must go now and, and get my supplies. So what did you accomplish? In a few minutes, he'll be leaving. And we'll be left alone without her mercy. Exactly. Tell me when she might show up. these chairs up over here. Oh, yeah. Keep your voices down. I pile everything that burns, smaller pieces on the bottom. And try not to make any noise. We are building a bonfire, right? Right. Well, this is a real good way to get that little devil in trouble with her grandfather, but how does that help us? She's going to be real anxious to put that fire up. You can bet on it. Of course she will. Otherwise, the old man will think she said it. Exactly. Mark? Piano? Pins of ours. You mustn't tease them while I'm gone. I won't tease them. Now that'll make a big fire. Are you figuring on us making a dash with the forest field when she comes through it to put out the fire? Yeah. No, I'm, I'm betting that she's going to be so busy keeping her grandfather's town from burning down that she'll forget to turn the forest field back on. I wonder if she doesn't forget. Well, one thing for sure, she'll need both hands to put out that fire. So she's going to have to set the rear stand down. Mark, you and I will stay behind. And if she doesn't forget, and it's not off, you and I will turn it off ourselves. Ackman's left, and she's up to something. That's how it goes. You give Mark and me exactly two minutes to get to her end of town before you start this fire. Now, when you get to the force field where Barry was hit, nobody... No one is to move across without Dan's express order. Is that clear? All right, Dan. You're going to have to play the rest by ear. Good luck. Thanks. Two minutes. Right. Steve has 
I figured. Well, if it doesn't, we won't have much to hope for. Ten seconds to go. Hungry? Soon you'll eat. Give me a hand, this won't budge. Can you short this out? I think so. About three, but on a giant scale, it's enough to knock us off permanently. Insulate yourself with that rope. He said to play it by ear. So we'll wait here until they arrive. talking about that means we're gonna have to go straight through town well go then maybe we can make it there's our friend she's right on top of us
think we're going to make it. Yeah, come on. She likes us. I've got you now. Granddaughter, come here this instant. What did I tell you about matches and flames? I didn't set the fire, the little people did. Oh, come here. with the head man. <laughs> there they are! Stand 